The Broncos made a move in free agency, and we got a video coming out to you guys so you can stay up to date on the latest Broncos news, along with the latest Broncos rumors. So make sure you are subscribed because when Denver signs a household name like Kwan Williams, we're breaking it down for you here on the channel. Welcome into the Broncos breakdown. We have a free agency move here as Denver has went out and signed a corner, Kawan Williams. Kawan Williams? I think I'm getting it right. Kawan Williams. So, an interesting move here because we knew Denver was looking at corners. We talked about this on our video yesterday, and I was looking at a handful of free agent corners, and this is one that I completely missed, fell through the cracks. So, let's break it down and let's get to know the newest member of the Broncos country. First on it was Mike K, uh, who covers the NFL, tweeting out former 49ers cornerback Kwan Williams is closing in on a two year, $7 million deal with the Broncos. So, when I saw this tweet, First thing I did was I picked my head up and I asked our 49ers guy here at Chat Sports, Chase Sr., hey, Broncos signed the corner Williams from the 49ers. His first response, damn it, which is a great measuring stick of knowing, is this a good move here? Because let's be honest, there are some free agent signings where even myself, I end up looking at them on Wikipedia going, who is this guy? So with that in mind, do you know who K1 Williams is? Why for yes and for no? I think he's a Wikipedia kind of player. I think he's a pro football reference. Who is he? Let me look it up. But then when you look at his history, it's actually a pretty cool story. An undrafted player who ended up starting in the Super Bowl for the 49ers. Pretty good story right there in path, and it really, I think, speaks to the type of character and type of person the Denver Broncos are getting in Kiwan Williams. So we'll look at some of his stats in a moment. We'll break it down here. But ultimately, I like the move. Denver needed a slot corner, and that's what Williams is. He's going to help replace Bryce Callahan, who, by the way, is likely done in Denver after three seasons. And ultimately, it'll be the injuries we think of most. So, Sertan, Darby, and Williams, looking like those are your three corners. Maybe Peyton will look to the draft to add some more depth. I doubt he's going to be done at just three. But with Fuller and Callahan hitting free agency, Fuller just being a bust of a signing last year, and Callahan always having the injuries nag him, Ultimately, it looks like Denver decides to just kind of go with a clean slate and go to K1 Williams, who, by the way, two years, seven million to pay a slot corner, 3.5 million, and a pretty good one, too. Pretty good bargain. You look what he did this past season. He's had some issues staying healthy as well, but he appeared in 14 games for the Niners, had an interception, four PBUs to go along with it. Pretty good stuff right there. I mean, this is not going to be a Revis Island kind of player. But you're not asking him to be. You're asking him to be physical at the line of scrimmage, to be a little nasty, to get in the opponent's face, and have some nice tackles on the back end and over the middle of the field. And that's what Kwan Williams can do for you. I like this move. I think this is a good signing by the Broncos, especially with the details of two years, seven million. This is gonna be a fun Broncos defense. We'll talk more about that in length in just a moment. But one more time, I want to remind you to subscribe if you have not already. Help us reach 7,000 subscribers. We're just over 6,600, so 300 and change to go. Please help us reach that milestone by the end of the month. That way I can get my boss off the back of my neck a little bit and I can get more studio time so you guys can get some more videos coming your way. So hit that big red button, as I like to say, and subscribe. The Broncos needed a slot corner. Uh, Benjamin Albright, who covers the Broncos, does a good job of doing so, has tweeted out for a little while now that if Denver's going to make another free agent move, it's going to be at the corner position. I would have preferred it to be a right tackle because I like to see Russell Wilson thrive in his first year. And if that takes a hit at the secondary, so be it. But this is a Broncos defense that I'm really starting to like a lot. With the addition of K1 Williams, you got Sertan and Darby. Then you got Justin Simmons, one of the more, more underappreciated, we'll say, safeties in the NFL. And then maybe Caden Stern steps up if they don't make another move. And then you've got Randy Gregory and Bradley Chubb as your edge rushers. How about Baron Browning, by the way? That news came out earlier that Denver's looking at moving him to the edge rusher spot from his more of an off-ball linebacker, which I thought was interesting because my first thought was, okay, the new DC, Evero, wants to get his hands dirty, right? He wants to put his uh, fingerprints on this team already. And then one of our NFL gurus here at Chet Sports, Tom Downey, said, actually, Maybe they don't like him inside linebacker. Maybe they don't think he's a good fit there. 
So all of a sudden, we went from needing a ton of edge rushers to the Broncos having Bradley Chubb, uh, Randy Gregory, Jonathan Cooper, Malik Reed, and now you could toss in Baron Browning. So will Denver look to sign another inside linebacker to pair with Josie Jewell, who they re-signed to a two-year, $11 million contract next season? AJ, uh, last season, A.J. Johnson is still on the market. Could that be another move? A lot of things are still in the fold here for Denver, who, by the way, they have not extended Russell Wilson, and that would very much implicate some changes for the salary cap for this season. So the Broncos, maybe with an extension, could free up some more money and be able to be bigger spenders for some of the big targets still out on the market. I want you guys to weigh in on the show, though. Grade the Broncos' free agency so far. A, B, C, D, or F. If you include the Russell Wilson trade, which let's do that, it's an A. But if you don't want to include that and you just want to look at the signings, then B+. Plus? Like, I don't think they're an A. I don't think they've made a handful of home run signings. But I like getting Randy Gregory. I think I would have liked to have seen a little more, we'll call it, uh, action at the right tackle spot. I, I, I think putting a lot of faith in Calvin Anderson and maybe looking at uh, Tom Compton as a battle doesn't really speak a ton of confidence to Russell Wilson, who we know has had issues staying upright when he was in Seattle. All right, Producer Jeff, let's hit the news one more time. Let's run through the Twitter, uh, the, through the tweet, and through the player bio as Kwan Williams comes over from the Bay Area, a starting corner in the Super Bowl not long ago, signing that two-year, $7 million deal, according to sources, expected to come your way. So interesting move. Uh, interesting. Good move here by the Broncos. I like it. Last season, 52 tackles, an interception, four pass breakups. Like I said, this is going to be your slot corner. He's going to be getting in the dirty. Right? He's going to be working in the trenches against the opposing offenses and their slot receivers, which let's also spoke, speak for a second how important a good slot corner is. Look at the Triple Crown winner last season. Cooper Cup, where did he work out of? He was not your ex receiver beating you by climbing up a tree in the red zone. He was beating you over the middle. He was beating you on short dig routes and ins and outs. So Kwan Williams will prove to be a valuable addition, especially when you think about the arms race in the AFC West. The Raiders got Devontae Adams, the Chiefs are the Chiefs, and all of a sudden the Chargers are a good team. Well, we've seen this before. Good quarterback, makes some good moves on defense, always underperforming. I'll believe it when I see it. That's going to pretty much do it for us here on the channel. Appreciate everyone that's watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And if you already have, we appreciate you being a part of the best Broncos YouTube channel out there.